What is going on YouTube? This is Perkyos and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're just going to go over some recent news Pokemon related and also we are going to be opening up this awesome package. That's right, it's an Alola collection with five booster packs and there are two XY evolutions there. Fates collide and I think a break point and we're gonna try and get some awesome pulls. But first up, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that bell notification for your Pokios content, and like this video. What is going on, everyone? Let's do this. So the first lot of news we have is, I'm actually on the Poke Collector website, and I am on the Japanese sets. There is gonna be a new set due to be released shortly. It is called the Shiny Star V set s4 alpha and it is due to be released in japan on november the 20th 2020 and there is some amazing news for everyone i'm sure everyone has seen it um it is an awesome set and everyone have a look at this <laughs> that's right it is a charizard v max in a shiny form the most amazing thing you can see um is it's the size of this set it is 308 of 190 so that is a lot of secret cards in this set um so pretty much the charizard that started it all with this artwork was the v max from darkness ablaze and then the champion's path charizard v max in the secret rainbow rare and then to top it off they have given the japanese set um, which I'm pretty sure we will get this in the English version maybe sometime next year in another set after Vivid Voltage and There it is everyone. It's a shiny VMAX Charizard um, It's an amazing looking card, but to be honest, I think it's just a bit too much Charizard at this stage Yeah, that's my opinion on it um, Amazing Charizard and it's gonna be worth a lot of money I'm sure everyone's gonna be trying to pull this Charizard get it graded or all that good stuff, but I just think it's too many Charizards at this moment. We should let Champions Path, you know, have its time and have its thing. You know, let them Charizards reign for a little while before they bring out this bad boy. But you know what? That's up to the Pokemon Company, and I'm sure they have their, you know, information and all their statistics for this. Um, so that's the first lot of news. The second lot of news is um. Champions Path has been selling out very, very quickly. It's just um, supply and demand, not enough supply. So what has happened, everyone? That's right. There's going to be another release in January 2021. So I'm just on an Australian website right now called Toymate. And they are accepting pre-orders for next year early january 2021 so if anyone didn't know that and missed their chance on the first run um they're doing a second release of champions path for everyone to get in there um because people are putting up the prices for the champions path etbs like whoever has bought them already you know rip price for australia was between 100 dollars and 110 People advertising them close to $200, sometimes less, sometimes more. Um, yeah, it's not fair that that has happened for the people that are trying to get some ETBs. But, you know, hopefully I can put this news out and um, you can go out there and, you know, put some pre-orders in for January 2021. So that's that lot of news. Um, the next lot of news is really really great news i couldn't find any australian websites because it's just news at the moment but hidden fates are reprinting the etbs that's right if anyone doesn't know hidden fates came out last year around september and it was a huge hit uh, mainly because of the charizard the shiny charizard that can be pulled in the set plus many of the other awesome shiny pokemon card this ETB, you also get a promo card of the three birds with the glass stain. Um, I'll be posting that up so everyone can see that. Yeah, so this ETB was a great hit and sold out quickly. And the prices at the moment 
for these on the market probably the cheapest ones going for around five hundred dollars australian um, but that is surely going to be dropping come around january next year 2021 because they are reprinting these etbs and whoever missed out on these can surely surely look around from wherever you you buy all your game cards or any of your suppliers um, in australia it's mainly game traders toy mate um, eb games or zing they're the main ones that will have these up shortly um, so you know whoever missed out go check that out definitely guys and girls your chance to grab hidden fates etbs upcoming reprint for january 2021 and the last lot of news everyone knows this that's right it's logan paul he is a huge 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 youtuber very very famous and he is killing it literally so he's always been into pokemon and he's recently got into pokemon even more and he has purchased a first edition shadowless booster box he opened this booster box and sold off all the booster packs to everyone and a lot of the money was donated to charity which is very very good and every other card was purchased from youtubers pokey rev unlisted leaf and many other big names purchased these expensive booster packs and um you know he he opened them live on his channel the video is right there i'll put the link below and there were some awesome awesome rare cards that were pulled um you don't see a first edition booster box opened you know um there are some big names that have opened them previously um but this is the most recent first edition booster box getting opened um but i don't know if anyone missed it apparently logan paul had some guru there that was um he was grading the cards by looking at them when logan paul pulled them but he had no idea because um <laughs> he was pricing the cards ridiculous everyone knows what i'm talking about he priced that um charizard that was pulled at some ridiculous price 65,000 us um that is nowhere near that to be honest i don't know where he got these figures from um i just think logan paul shouldn't be having people like that on his channel that are just bringing out prices and manipulating the market which is very very unfair and um i guess just spreading fake news so that was the only thing i didn't like about this video and the box opening you know just that one guy apparently he's famous and all that stuff but good on for, good for him um just spreading fake rumors fake news and fake you know estimates of that card that was pulled it's nowhere near sixty five thousand. but whoever wants to watch that video go and watch that video and um it's a great video um and some awesome awesome pulls everyone but now for the main event we are going to be opening up this awesome alola collection five booster packs three promos some toy figurines and the extra large oversized jumbo card so we are just going to open this up i have had this sealed for a long long time um if i tell you what i paid for this it is unbelievable i bought this for 15 dollars australian about three years ago of someone um so yes everyone i bought this right here brand new sealed for 15 dollars absolute bargain i've had it sealed for ages but i'm collecting um you know as you know i'm collecting more bigger and rarer and more expensive stuff for the future um i absolutely love collecting items anything pokemon related but i thought i would open this up for the channel and see what we got we got two xy booster packs hoping hoping to pull the charizard because that will be awesome let's open up this bad boy and see what we've got in here so there it is there just move the box over here and there it is there let's open it up wow can't believe i got this for 15 dollars that is absolutely crazy so that is the promo card, the first one, Poplio over here, we'll put him 
right about here. And then we have the second one. It is Lytton. That is a nice holographic. Put Lytton over here. And then we have the third one. It is Rowlet. Nice, nice holographic from Sun and Moon. Put it over here. All right, everyone, we got three packs and we got a code card for you guys. Take it. Oh, we got five packs, everyone. And we have these awesome, awesome toys. We've got a nice pin, Sol Galio, and a nice figurine, Sol Galio, over here. We'll put him over here. And we'll put the pin just over here. And then we have this awesome oversized card, which I'll just leave in here. Um, this one's got actually great centering compared to the other double V collection box that I opened, but that is fine. We don't need that right now because we are going to be opening up these bad boys. We'll start off with the Steam Siege because everyone loves Steam Siege. And let's see what we got over here. We have a code card for you guys. You can take that. Let's see what we got, Steam Siege. I know everyone talks about Steam Siege, but look, maybe one day, everyone is gonna be opening up Steam Siege, and there's gonna be no more Steam Siege. Has anyone ever thought of that? Everyone's gonna be opening up Steam Siege, maybe throwing Steam Siege, ripping up Steam Siege, but at the end of the day, there's gonna be no more Steam Siege. So, it's good to always have one box of Steam Siege, everyone. We got a Reverse Volcanion, and a non-holographic rare spirit tomb. Okay, everyone, so that was the card from the Steam Siege. No hits there, that is fine. Okay, let's go fakes collide. And is that a Lugia there? Everyone, can we pull a Lugia from this? I really don't know, but that code card is for you guys. Let's do this. We got a Diglett, Spoink, Raulu, Solo Sis, Fennekin, a Reverse Holographic Rare, Serapiria, and a Holographic Rare, Del Fox. Nice, we got a first Holographic Rare, Del Fox from that pack there. No Lugia, but that is fine. Okay, we got Breakpoint, everyone. Let's look at Breakpoint. I actually got a complete set of Breakpoint. I didn't collect it, but um, I guess it was acquired over time for a trade somewhere. Let's go. Staryu, Scorapy, Petlity, Rattata, Numo, nice all party trainer. And I really, really like the Umbreon because I like Umbreon as a Pokemon. And a holographic rare. How do I pronounce this guy? It is Drag. Galgi. Okay, okay. And that code card is for you guys. Not bad, not bad. We got a hit there. All right, everyone. We we are to, we are down to the main event. We got two evolution booster packs. We got a Raichu and we got a Charizard. You know what? Let's do the Raichu first. I absolutely love evolutions. You know, it's just the reprint of the set, you know, from back in the days of, um, you know, uh, anniversary print. Let's do this, the 20th anniversary. We got an awesome Electabuzz, Volpix, always good to be opening up Evolutions, Radata. We got a Leap Energy, we got a Poliwag, Reverse Porygon, and a Farfetch'd over here. Code card for you guys. I have no idea why a Farfetch'd is a rare card. Who the hell did that? Anyways, that is that pack. Everyone, we are on the last pack. I know it's a short video, but I had to put a video out there. I'm um, just being very, very busy with everything going on at home and things like that. But let's do this. We've got a Radata, Tangela, Staryu, Fighting Energy, Magic Cup. Awesome, we've got a Reverse Magneton Rare and a Arcanine rare card. And yes, that is all. So we got these two awesome cards over here, a reverse Magneton 
and the Arkan line. Yeah, I'll put them over here. Wow, so we finally opened up that Alola collection box. Not the best pools, but that is fine. It was sitting in my cupboard, tucked away for a long time. I only got it for $15, and um, but the value on it was is that it's quite high right now. Um, I just that was about a hundred dollar box just there. Um, but I thought I'd open it up for the channel because I was very, very curious to see what was in there. And that curious has gone away now <laughs> because I didn't pull anything that I wanted to pull. But we got these awesome Solgaleo figurines that I'm going to put up on my Pokemon shelf because they are definitely awesome. Yes. So everyone, I hope everyone has liked that video from the news at the start of the video to that awesome Alola collection box opening. Don't forget to subscribe to that channel, tap the bell notification, and like this video. This is Pokeyos, and I'll see you all next time. Stay safe.